This video follows Year 9 and 10 students from the Castle Community College deal as they undertake the Sports Enterprise Week project organised by Entrepreneurs in Action, an accredited, young, gifted and talented provider. The project consisted of a pilot to test the value of enterprise education by stretching the top 5-10% to of young people with specific or all-round gifts and talents in sport. The unique aspect of the project was that it was fully residential, with students in many cases staying away from home for the first time. The challenge to help further define and promote this Sports Enterprise Week pilot programme was set by Young, Gifted and Talented. The students were encouraged to gain a greater insight into the business world behind sporting performance, whilst at the same time undertaking a week of intense personal development. This included gaining an understanding of the motivation and skills needed to succeed, which are over and above raw talent. At the moment it's going quite well, we're learning a lot about business and how to set up a business, how to run it, what key points there are to make it work. Activities during the week included a trading game. We had to make up our own product and we had to sell it to people and we had to um, like bargain with them for like prices and stuff. Like a better understanding of like how much it takes to like get the customers in because you have competition in that from other stores. And an amazing insight from Phil Smith, Chief Operating Officer of the First Artist Corporation, a company that manages sportsmen and women together with other artists. Rome wasn't built in a day, it doesn't happen overnight. You know, I've not had an overnight success. If we have been successful, we've been successful. It's gone like that. At times it goes like that, and at other times it will come crashing down. And you've got to be able to take the knocks and come back. Feel you've got the talent. Be very, very persistent. Believe in yourself. Throughout the week, the coaches and mentors from Entrepreneurs in Action were on hand to guide, encourage, and facilitate the young people. However, the key responsibility to successfully meet the challenge rested with the students who had to find their own ways of working and their own solutions. The culmination of the challenge was the presentation to staff from young, gifted and talented. As the presentation grew closer, it was clear that the pressure was on, although there was no need to worry as the actual presentation on day five was a great success, with students utilising different skills to deliver their findings and recommendations. The day culminated in the students receiving the recognition for all of their hard work and a chance to celebrate new friendships and new outlooks. There's nothing to say really. I can't stress how important this was to me. This is a life changing experience for myself. I thought it was really good. I learned a lot, so I was, I was quite happy. <laughs> okay, it was really fun and I was going in confidence. Yeah, we feel much confident because like, when we first came, we probably wouldn't have like, had the confidence to get up and see what you did in front of everyone. It's brilliant. I'm really pleased with it.